just want to make a quick bit video about the way that I feel about overtime. An overview of what overtime is, what companies generally expect, what types of jobs you know will give overtime. Um, basically, why, how, and how I feel about it. So first and foremost, overtime pay is when a company will pay one and a half times your hourly salary for any worker that's willing to work over 40 hours a week and it is a requirement by law so if you work let's say you work eight hours a day six days a week and your hourly rate let's say is forty dollars an hour monday through friday you'll make forty dollars an hour and then for your eight hour shift on saturday you'll make sixty dollars an hour for those eight hours um i'm sure most of you already knew that some of you might not know this different companies have different policies as it relates to overtime um you know, obviously every company is going to follow the federal regulations on that, but some companies go a little beyond, above and beyond and uh, offer a little bit of additional compensation uh, on top of that 40 hours a week. And it's, you know, important to figure out what your company does. So some companies will pay overtime for anything over eight hours in a given day. So say you work eight hours a day, Monday through Friday, that's 40 hours a week. But on Wednesday, they have a special project going on and they want you to stay three hours late. And it just so happened that that week you called off Monday and Tuesday. So you got three days left at eight hours, but you stay over a couple extra hours on Wednesday and you will get your $60 an hour for those three, three hours over. But you're only gonna get that if your company pays overtime for anything eight, over eight hours in a given day and ignores the 40 in a week, you know, 40 hour work week clause, you know, so if, for that company, you would get it for eight hours a day or over 40 hours a week. And of course, there's other stuff. Company that I'm at does seven consecutive days. You get double time on the seventh day. So $40 an hour, 60 on Saturday, 80 on Sunday, just the way it is. So let's talk about what companies have overtime. You know, I'm a factory guy. I can kind of touch on how factories operate with overtime. I know that a lot of times in like um, fast food and things like that. I've heard a lot of people talk about how companies really don't want them to get overtime retail. You know, they'll really say, oh no, you hit your 40 hours, you gotta go home. Factories is usually not like that. Generally, they want people to work overtime, especially in the skilled trades. Um, from what I've seen, a lot of times the more entry level positions will have, you know, overtime. And a lot of those guys are forced overtime. So I've worked at a factory where all the operators made about like 25 bucks an hour, but they all work 50 hours weeks, 50 hour weeks, five tens. So 25 an hour puts you at like about something like 54, $55,000 a year. But because they got that extra, let's do crunch the numbers real quick. 40 times eight is extra 15,000. So that would put them up towards 70. So they're working 50 hour weeks. So instead of making 55K, they're making like 70. But those companies and those positions will force the overtime. Um, at that same company, maintenance personnel was not forced into overtime. And it was more optional for us, very lax. And it was really dependent on what was going on. Um, so we had maintenance technicians there. They had to get their overtime approved. I was an automation and electrical technician. And I just worked as much as I wanted whenever I wanted, pretty much. Um, just based off, it was a little bit of a higher level position. And they were just cool about it. So it really depends where you're at. I was working for that company. I really didn't work that much overtime. I'd say on average, I did like maybe four or five hours a week just to make a couple extra hundred bucks. Nowadays, I'm at a company that really wants me to work a lot of overtime, but they don't force us into it. Operators are mandatory. Maintenance personnel is fully optional. We do it in eight hour blocks. You do eight, 12 or 16 at your leisure, but you have to let management know a couple of days in advance. So that's kind of where I'm at. They want me to work a whole lot. I don't work a whole lot, but I work a decent amount. So a lot of times I'll, I will get the, um, you know, my eight hour shift on Saturdays, like 500 bucks. And then my eight hour shift on Sundays, like 700, something like that. So, you know, I do do it. And yeah, the weekend, it kind of sucks giving up your weekends, but at the same time, it uh, increased my pay by quite a bit. I do that one or two weekends a month with, you know, a couple 12 hour shifts randomly. Maybe I'll work, you know, just a Sunday. I do at least, one full weekend of overtime i'll probably start doing every other weekend honestly and that will increase my um let's see that will increase uh geez my total pay by about i don't even know 40 grand maybe 40 grand a year 
So it's a pretty significant increase, but with that comes the emotional, you know, just the feelings that go along with working every day. You know, if I work a Saturday and Sunday, that's 12 consecutive days of work with two days off. And that's a lot of work, you know, and like I said, a lot of these big factories, if they have high demand, they're going to, you know, they don't have enough people. They're going to pretty much make it mandatory for certain positions, possibly for maintenance positions. So you have to keep that in mind. It's not always optional. If you're starting a new job with a lot of overtime, you got to figure this out. But the bottom line is this. I do work kind of a lot of overtime. Um, and I just pace myself out and I make the most of my time when I'm not here. So for example, on a day where I work second shift, I go in, I have to leave the house at two. So I get up at 7 a.m. I make sure to have a full day, then uh, go work my shift and go home and go to bed. It is what it is. You can still have a full day on a work day. And I find that over time, as I'm working more hours, I'm kind of getting used to the idea of working every day. And uh, yeah. I mean, just like anything, you get used to it. And I'm just making the most of the time that I'm not here. I'm not oversleeping. I'm not, I don't play video games. I'm trying to not watch too many movies and really just go out and enjoy my life. You know, I, you always got to remember there's always someone that has it better and there's always someone that has it worse. But for me, you know, the overtime thing, it is a little bit taxing and a little bit difficult, but it is kind of forced me to make some per personal, personal growth and make good decisions. So. You know, I'd say the bottom line with overtime is it is definitely a sacrifice for the greater good. For me, the greater good is I want to save up some money. I want to get my family in a really good financial situation. And I'm willing to do that. And the sacrifice, of course, is time. I just got to deal with it. But, um, yeah, you know, for me, it's not too bad. It really isn't. You know, I hang out for seven or eight hours and I go to work for seven, eight hours. Um, you know, anything is possible. So that's kind of my two cents on overtime. You know, it really depends on your personality type. How much do you hate your job? How much do you like your job? How much do you like your home life? If you really don't like your home life, to work a bunch of overtime, why not? Um, personally, me, I enjoy my job. I enjoy my home life more. I really like both of them, but I prefer my home life. Um, so I kind of sacrifice sleep so I can enjoy my life. And um, for me, it kind of works out. Again, I'm, you know, it takes some getting used to, but you know, I I work crazy hours. I make a lot of money, and at the end of the year, I'm gonna, you know, be able to save thirty or forty thousand. It is what it is. I'm doing it for my family and for my future. Um, so you know, if you're entering a position where there's a lot of overtime and you're nervous, you know, just accept it. Don't burn yourself out, and uh, you know, just be happy with what you got. Thanks for watching the video, guys.